All right, folks, this video, we're going to do uh, one of two methods to update the BIOS on the ASUS Prime Z890M Plus Wi-Fi. Um, so how do we find the BIOS file? Let's uh, search for, oh, look at that. We already have it in here. There's our motherboard. So if you have a different version of this, I don't know if there's a non-Wi-Fi version. Um, Let's just see. Okay, so regardless, there's a, there is no version without Wi-Fi of this particular model. So whether you put Wi-Fi in or not doesn't matter um, in this case, but just make sure it says that and then click on that. And you're gonna grab, um, I'll switch to US site. I don't know why it keeps doing that. You're gonna click on this support, okay? Not the one up here, but this specific one. And then drivers and tools. Actually, before we do that, uh, let's say this motherboard in the future supports some other generation of CPU. Clicking on CPU memory support, this is going to show you what BIOS is needed to run that particular CPU. So it appears um, that the original BIOS is uh, good for all these CPUs. All right, back to drivers and tools, BIOS firmware. This will load up and see all downloads. Now, folks, um, I always read these from the bottom to the top. First release, this is what I have on here. Um, you would hope that uh, it would improve some things for you uh, to update a BIOS. Always good to read these descriptions to see if it's even worth bothering with. So maybe you're having RAM compatibility issues. If you keep seeing RAM compatibility, compatibility, you know, that's probably a good sign that maybe you should update. You'll want to grab the most up-to-date BIOS, which will be this top one. But like I said, always read through these. Um, yours truly is not going to update all the way to the very top because I, I'm i going to do the other video and I need to leave actually uh, a couple of BIOS updates in there uh, in case I screw those videos up. But you will grab the most uh, recent one. Now, none of these say, hey, update this one before you continue on. Some of them might say uh, to install some other stuff, update other things. Yeah, like this, this is saying simultaneously, so that's good. Used to not do that. And I think if you do the Armory Crate slash Asus Driver Hub, um, it'll update that way too. All right, so like I said, you'll click here or whatever the newest one is. This video is being made March 29th, so they just put one out. I'm going to drop back a couple. We'll go down to December. We're going to update this one. And it's going to be the same process, folks. Um, now, ASUS is weird anymore, okay? You actually are going to copy this whole folder to your USB thumb drive, all right? So... All right, so we're gonna take this whole thing, copy, control C, drop it in here. Now this is my thumb drive, control V. Yes, I want to copy you over. Um, after this is done, I want to show you one other thing. Uh, it's recommended this be formatted to FAT32. Of course, if you go to format it and you have files on there, they're going to get deleted, okay? So um, might be a good idea to use a new thumb drive. FAT32. So we're good to go. Now, let's reboot this thing. And... I can never remember if it's F2, F12, delete, but I'm clicking F2 and 
delete as this thing restarts. You can hold F2. I just like to like make a lot of noise. Now, if I was in an office with people. It's funny if you see my office, it's ridiculous. Like you would think three or four people work in here. I have that many uh, setups, office setups, desks. Okay, we're in here. Now, folks, we're going to click on Advanced Mode. Over here, Tool. And then Easy Flash 3 Utility. You see there is our folder. And ask you this question. You'll say yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes, I do. And voila, I found the file, thank God. So I can't tell you the first time I I did one of these Core Ultra Asus Primes how big a pain in the ass it was because the directions suck um, on how to update the, the BIOS. <laughs> one has to use the zip file now. Now that is actually easier because I don't have to do anything. Don't have to do the BIOS renamer. Uh, don't have to rename it physically myself. Uh, that may not be a true statement here as we do the uh, next time, next video if you want to see it. Method 2 will be the BIOS flashback button. And those can get a little tricky because you've got to name the file correctly. You've got to put it on the root drive. Um, but potentially maybe ASUS is doing it different. I don't know. All right. So one thing I failed to mention at the beginning of the video, um, always check to make sure the weather's good folks before you update the BIOS. Now it's a nice day here so far, but, um, if you have a thunderstorm, hail storm, blizzard, earthquake, anything bad. Try not to uh, do a BIOS update, okay? So this is gonna take a moment. I'm gonna go recharge my phone, folks. I'll be back. There will be no edits of this video. So when this is done, folks, it's going to reboot a bunch of times.
right, so you don't have to touch anything. It should reboot on its own. There you go. At least one reboot. Maybe two, maybe three, who knows? Ooh. God, I'm amazed, folks. All the great content I make for people over and over. This month, the views have just tanked. I am absolutely amazed by it. I bought in. Um, Got at least three or four new motherboards. There you go, BIOS 1403. Yeah, four new motherboards, and that's usually a great thing for the channel. <laughs> Not this time, though. BIOS 1403, updated, boom. Send me a um, super chat if, you, if this helped you out. If it didn't, hey, I'm sorry. Hopefully you didn't break your motherboard. Uh, that can happen, so be careful when you're doing this. Please like, please subscribe, thank you.